the uh, four key positive attributes that either predispose or enhance a leader's capacity to develop self-awareness, internalize moral perspective, balance processing, and relational transparency, as according to the authentic leadership theory, is uh, they're all affected. They all connect in one way or the other. Uh, the four uh, the four attributes are confidence, hope, optimism, and resilience. Uh, confidence is being motivated, super motivated, being able no matter what happens to just keep going to, you know, focus on your goal no matter what happens. If everything's good, if anything's bad, you're just going to keep going. Uh, hope, of course, is uh, just thinking or wanting to be uh, better. Or you know, not necessarily waiting for it to be better, but you're having the will plan, the willpower to, to continue to strive for, and uh, it'll have the goal planning, planning and uh, believing that something will happen. So you're planning ahead and you're thinking ahead to where that goal is going to be successful. And then optimism, of course, is having, uh, for instance, having rose-colored glasses or uh, looking at everything in a positive light. Anything that does happen or can happen, you know positively is what you think you're thinking your whole process your whole thought for us your whole thought process is that something good is going to happen like the, the right thing's going to happen not the wrong thing things are going to go right not wrong like i said once again having rose colored glasses and uh resilience of course is uh if anything go, does go wrong which it does one way or the other pick yourself up and uh keep going ramming through it no matter what what happens you know what i mean you get knocked down but you get up you have heart you won't stop you can't stop you won't stop and uh, these are all, all these uh, perspectives are all, all of these attributes, all these traits are all part of, um, they're all shaped by your life events more or less. And uh, they all sort of uh, connect to your, your moral reasoning, like your moral perspective on life. And uh, they come from your life events and they are how they are what shapes your moral reasoning. And that more reasoning is what uh, is part of or connected to these uh, these four sections: self awareness, internalized moral perspective, balanced processing, and relational transparency. So, to be self aware is to know who you are, and these positive perspectives all you know account for that. How to uh, how you are aware, like what happens in your life and how you um, look at life and think about life, all comes from uh, it all comes from these uh, positive attributes and your life events. And um, a self-aware person knows what's going on in their life. They know their strengths. They know their weaknesses. They understand what's going on. They understand what's going on inside of themselves, and they know what they have to do to continue through that to to continue to be the best person that they can be. And uh, on the other side of that, a person who is self-aware uh, uh, can actually um, show relational transparency. They can actually, uh, because they know who they are and they know what their strengths and their weaknesses are, they can uh, actually show that to another person. You know, that uh, they can show a person, you know, what I'm good at, what I can do, what, uh, when I'm, when I'm, what my goals are, what I'm planning on doing in life. And then on the opposite side, they can tell their weaknesses, which can be, you know, anything that you know that they, they don't work hard enough sometimes or sometimes they slack off or sometimes, you know, they're late or sometimes, you know, they just, uh, they aren't driven enough. Those are uh, weaknesses that people could show. And uh, it all comes with, you know, you have to have uh, those personality traits, those personal positive personality traits to be able to actually be transparent with somebody else. Uh, and then the internal moral perspective is uh, what's inside of you. It's uh, how your moral compass, and it's uh, it's not a, it's to be driven or for you to your moral compass. What you do, your version of right and wrong, comes from inside of you. It's not you're not swayed from somebody else or what somebody else is saying or what somebody else is doing or what's going on in the world, some other place. You know from what you've been from your life events, what's happened before your hand, what's happened before, and how you think and your whole moral perspective, it's internalized. It comes from you. So no matter what happens, you know, somebody else might come up and say, well, you know, we're out here and we're, we're you know, we're, we're making sales because we're actually ripping people off. But, you know, you would know for yourself that that's not the right thing to do and you won't do that because you have these positive attributes that are already instilled inside of you. So your internal moral compass is straight no matter what. 
And uh, the last is uh, balance processing, is which is being able to actually balance all of the information that's coming into you, all the information that's given to you, more or less, uh, not just information from yourself, but actually information from other people. So other people could uh, call you or other people could, you know, chip in and give like information and you having the actual ability to understand that somebody else has information that could be helpful to you and your team and to get your task done one way or the other. So having these positive perspectives uh, allow you to have a balanced process where you know you can take all this information before you make a decision and actually place that information you know take that information from all different sources from you know people from your side of the team things that you already know you know regular book work or whatever it is you can use all that information to make a decision that's going to be best for your company or best for uh, yourself in the long run and those are the attributes in authentic leadership